Good morning, gentlemen. We're here today on the next segment, Halacha number six of Think Before You Speak series, the series of Shminat HaLashon with Clarity. This series is Lilu Nishmat, the Chafetz Chaim Zechet Sadik Lebracha. It's also for the great Yeshuot and Hatzlacha of our Bnei Chabura, and for the Yeshuot of Klal Yisrael, and also specifically for the Shmira and Yeshua Gedola of Chaim Davido Ben Chayesara. This morning's halacha is titled, I was outvoted. Rabbi, I want to I tell you something. If you think about it for a minute, a good friend comes to you and says to you, I have a secret that I want to tell you and it's going to stay between me and you. And he, un, he, un, he, he kind of unbridles his heart and he tells you something sensitive. And he tells you something between you and him. That secret to him is not just information, it's trust. And if you're going to now breach that trust and tell out that secret to somebody else, that is a violation of Lashon Hara. Even though the information that's being given over has nothing to do with anything derogatory. You're not speaking bad about anyone. But because it was given to you in confidence, and it was told to you, hey, I'm trusting you. This is a secret. Be careful with this information. I don't want this to get out. He leans in, he whispers. You could already tell what a secret looks like between friends. And this guy turns around and breaches the trust and gives out that secret. We're gonna call that illegal information which breaks the trust of another Jew. That is also classified as forbidden speech and Lashon Hara. If this is the case, we could step up now to another halacha. And that is when it comes to board meetings, when the committee comes together on any project of any level, and they have a meeting in confidence, and everyone's giving their opinions, and at the end of the meeting, there's the vote where they're going to vote now on a specific certain decision that's going to affect many people. It's going to affect the entire shul. It's going to affect the entire organization. It's going to affect maybe sometimes a family or families or a block that have a meeting between people and the gabayim come along and they sit together to make a decision for everybody else to kahal. The information that goes on in that meeting and who voted for what is absolutely illegal to give over to the outside. You broke the trust and the confidence of the people that were there in that meeting. At that moment, it's a breach of trust. It's a breach of confidence. And that is called as well Lashon Hara. So the guy leaves the meeting and someone runs up to him and says, No, what happened? What was the final decision? And you know what the guy says? I voted that we should do the extension, but I was outvoted. That is absolute Lashon Hara because you're basically giving over what your position was and they could understand by that which he was outvoted the other people who took a different position. That is a breach of trust and it's giving away a certain secret of information that already is considered Lashon Hara. And even if you're under duress and they force you to tell you what happened, the meaning, and who voted for what, still, you're not allowed to give away that information and it's clearly Lashon Hara. Rabotai, think about this for a minute. To give away a secret, Lashon Hara. To give away private information of a meeting, a board meeting, Lashon Hara. Think about it. Hashem, he keeps me and you private. Hashem does not allow the averot of people or even their inner feelings to be known on the outside to others because He's so careful with your privacy. You're required to at least be willing to do the same. Thank you for listening.